everyone. Okay, so this is beautiful legs, grease, and graceful movements, working your inner and outer thighs. Okay, so have fun. So first we're going to start with some around the world lunges. Ready? Squat. Making sure that your shoulders are over your hips, belly button pulled in. Knees in line with your ankle. Just warming up those legs. It's hot out here, so I'm warming up pretty quickly. Stick that booty way out. You always make sure your belly button's pulled in. Okay, then we're gonna stop. And just to sit nice and easy squats. And as you come up, squeeze the butt cheeks. All right, straighten those legs all the way. And then bend all the way down. So you really feel the engagement of your legs. Belly button pulled in, feeling every muscle working. So we'll do five more, five. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. And we'll do one more for luck. Okay, now we'll change it, right? And we're gonna bring the leg out parallel so you're using the outer leg, right? So no sloppy legs, pull all the way up, using those arms as well. Four more, four, three, two, one. We'll hold and then up and down. So you're really feeling it on the back of the leg. That stabilizer leg is strong. And then pull up through your core, shoulders back, arms beautifully extended, always with grace. Try to lift that leg as high as you can, right? And you can also hold on to something, right? And then we're gonna pulse in midair. If you wanna come down and touch the ground, that's totally fine. And if you want to make it a little more challenging, pulse. 10. So you're really feeling it in your legs now. It's burning. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then we're going to bend both legs and extend. Breathing. Feeling light in the upper body. It's burning. Especially that standing leg. Come on, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. This is where the stamina builds. And then down. Shake it out. Just go for a little jog before you start on the other side. other side. So lunges around the world just to get your heart rate down, catch your breath. Stick the booty out. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall. But this stuff really works. This is pretty much what I do consistently. So I like to mix all different styles, fitness, with Pilates, ballet, and yoga. And then we'll stay and do our squat. So make sure that your knees are not rolling in, right? So press the knees out, squeezing those glutes. Whew. The sun's beaming down, but look, it's so beautiful. It's inspiring. Squeezing those legs, lift. The knees up into your thighs, draw the belly in, and then we'll start by lifting the leg. Don't rush through it. I know it's so easy, you just want to get through it, but don't rush through it. Because that's really where the strength happens, and the slowness and control of, control of the movement. 
you watch ballet dancers, they make it look so easy. But within that grace is a lot of wicked strength. Hold, up and down, up and down. Bending. So this is really challenging my strength. It's challenging my core. The core is always engaged. Whoops, see I just lost it. That's okay, you just come right back and then pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, and release. Just jog it out a little bit, shake it out, catch your breath, and then to work that inner thighs, Come to second position, toes in line with your knees, up and down. And again, catching your breath, shoulders in line with your hips, and breathe. So important to breathe, guys. Make sure you drink lots of water, eat protein after your workouts. Now I'm going to change it up a little bit. Right, so I'm going to rotate the thigh out, external rotation, right? So before it was parallel, now it's external. And we're going to lift, so you're using the inner thigh, right? Your arms could be here in your hips, or arms out to the side. So it's a different feeling, right? Again, you can hold on, we'll still get the same benefit. This is just working your core more, challenging your balance. And pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in and out. In and out. So again, using the inner thigh. And we'll do a little pas de Just shake it up, shake those legs out. And we'll come back to second. So squeezing those glutes. So this is what's creating this beautiful flexibility and then creating that muscle pull up as you straighten your legs. And then pulses, love to do little pulses. Some a little lower. Lift those heels, great for your inner thighs. And then pulse on the right leg, let it burn. So as soon as you feel that burn, I know you wanna let go, but that's when the muscles are changing. So do these about 15 times on each leg until you feel the burn. Draw the belly in. back up and then turn the left leg out and the leg is in line with your hip right? does not have to be as high as mine just enough where you feel the engagement of that inner thigh right try to do it at least 10 times I'm sweating it's amazing just a little bit of exercise all you need is 10 minutes a day of quality, right? You can kind of fling your body around and not get much done. But when you're really focused on your body and every muscle, you're burning lots of calories and you're working the right muscles without injuring yourself. Pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and down. Just take a beautiful stretch. Catch your 
Watch your breath. Turn around a little bit. Make sure you stretch. Make sure it's so important to stretch. It prevents your injury, and that also helps create those long lead muscles. Flat back, so draw the shoulders through, I mean, draw the chest through the arms. Square those hips. Other side. And breathe, 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 breathe. So when you don't breathe, the body just contracts more. So the more you breathe, the more fluid your body becomes and releases. 